Let's see what are some of the challenges which are faced by the power sector in general and in India specifically. The first challenge is around what you can say is um, loss. Actually, loss will be the correct word for this. So, what happens is in the power plants where the energy is generated, part of it is used internally, part used internally. And second, even when this power as it is produced is transmitted, some part is lost in transportation. So let's say 100 megawatt is what was produced, 10 megawatt is used internally. then let's say 10 megawatt is lost in transportation. So what reaches the ultimate consumer is only 80. So these two basically account for loss of power. Now while they have been attempt to kind of reduce this but normally it doesn't happen. Now in loss in transportation can again be because of two reasons. One is theft. I mean even though there may be a lot of attempt which might be made by the government, many a times people try to <coughs> steal electricity. How does that happen? Suppose a wire is going from a locality A to locality B. Someone will just put in a wire here and he will steal electricity. So that's one. Second is underutilization of installed capacity. Now what happens is that even if the government sets up a plant to manufacture electricity, if this has the capacity of 10,000 megawatt due to red tapeism and lack of incentives, the capacity at which this operates is only 8000. So that 2000 megawatt which could have been generated is not generated. And this can happen in anywhere. I mean normally these resources are controlled by governments of various countries. If that be the case then it is very much possible that there could be under utilization. <laughs> Third is lack of raw material. Now in India even today the thermal plants account for almost two thirds of the total electricity generated in India. Now these thermal plants can basically run if they have the required resources in terms of coal etc. Because of the lack of adequate raw material these thermal plants at times are underutilized <coughs> because of which also there is a lot of problem which is faced by power sector. The second thing is that even the natural resources which are available these are allocated by the government. So as and when the government allocates it now the government has been recently following the public private partnership model. However even in these case some of the private players while they do start their work and they have really made a good headway, the others who are sitting on these natural resources are not able to make a correct utilization, which is again a problem. Okay. <clears throat> and again, the pricing is also an important factor. Due to lack of adequate infrastructure and you know the resources and everything, the prices are normally high. 
the cost of producing electricity or the power is high. But because this is such a necessity for the people, many a time the government itself has to supply it at low prices. Okay? Which makes it a bit unviable. If they want to increase the prices, obviously there is public unrest. The private players would not come unless and until they get some kind of a margin here. So all these factors make it a bit challenging to operate in the power sector in the country. All this is diverting the use to the non-conventional resources like solar energy, windmill, etc. So those non-conventional in the form of solar and windmill are actually now gaining a lot of importance because of these problems in the traditional thermal plants.